So hi guys, this is Jared from Paranormal Now, and uh, what you're seeing in front of you was what I received on Monday. Um, this was this Monday just gone. Uh, I believe it was the 28th of May, and I had a bit of a difficult day, and uh, I was just uh, I just seen this 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 come over across our our independent sort of paranormal chat group. And this is what um, one of our investigators, Martin, who you would have seen on the live streams, um, would have seen on some of the investigations, or most of the investigations actually. He is the technical genius behind making all the boxes work and uh, finding out how the different apps do different things. So he's gone and built a Connect, which I've got to admit is pretty goddamn awesome. But they. We're testing this out, and what you've just seen in the footage there, that was just Richard giving a sort of demonstration, acting about, uh, basically, just a bit of fun. But what they, they captured something, just basically on the first go, which was this, this figure, as you can see in the top left-hand corner here uh, of the screen. And this figure is, is, is quite a strange figure, because it's not... If you look at the proportions on Richard, and you look at the proportions on this figure, it looks like it's jumping, or, or, or springing, or, or just, it just looks really, really distorted and strange. Now, so, that was, that was quite strange for a start. Now, I had a phone call from Richard um, through Facebook, and basically what happened was, I was sat, sat there writing uh, an email to someone, and uh, my phone rang. And it was Richard ringing through Facebook, so I answered the phone, and he was like, "Jared, you rang me." And I'm like, "No, you rang me." And then this started to happen. Now this will not translate into my edit suite. I don't know why, but this is basically what you're going to hear in a minute is um, what happened to the phone call. This is as the phone call is going on. Um, this is actually happening. You can hear this noise, and obviously I had to hang up the phone. So. What I decided to do was, uh, I had a chat with Rich and we decided we'd do an SCD2 session. So this is the session. Okay, I sat in my kitchen here. Uh, There's <coughs> a bit of washing up behind me. Wasn't really actually expecting to be doing the video tonight. Volume isn't going to be great because um, I'm laying on my speaker with me. I'm literally just doing this natively on my laptop at the moment as a response to some of the crazy things that we've had this evening. Um, if I do need to find an extra volume source, we will do so. So, let's see. Tell us what happened with the phone. Is that someone trying to speak to us, please? Will you expect me to do a video tonight? 
Can you tell us what's in Richard's house, please? What come up? What comes through on the uh, on the connect earlier? What do you know about? Been tell us about the volcano in Hawaii. Is there anything more you'd like to say about that, please? Tell me who I'm speaking to, please. Or before you pass the Okay, I want to say thank you for coming forward. I'll try to check this as quick as we can. Thank you very much. So guys, this is the similar sort of stuff that is coming through the live streams. Um, <clears throat> basically, I felt a bit guilty that night because I normally do Monday messages on a Monday and when we have done sessions over the course of the last couple of weeks, um, it's been very difficult to get anything through really um, that makes any sense at this present moment and there's so much of a backlog at the moment of different sessions that we've done that is saying stuff that's, that's almost like happening now or is relevant now, is is sort of uh, relevant in like the field of the paranormal or these earth changes that are going on that there's really just a lot to go through. So we're kind of like going through a bit of house cleaning at the moment and seeing what we can sort of pick up along the way, what we can use now and what we'll, you know, what we'll, we'll, we'll bring forward in, in the next or in the coming weeks. But what I found quite strange is it did seem like it was very similar sorts of responses to what we were getting in the original live streams um it does sort of mention that that, that, that that there had been something spotted on the camera and it also mentions it basically continues on some of the conversations that we've shown in our recent videos and we'll be showing in some further videos about the um, earth changes that we're seeing at the moment you know, the, the 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 cracks in the earth, the the volcanic eruptions that we're seeing, the the strange weather, you know, with the strange wildlife behaviour, you know, all this sort of stuff that was highlighted in our last video about this, which is almost like a month or so ago now, that um, we've just been really trying to put everything together and sort of you know and sort to of deal with it psychologically as well, because it's it's you know when you're getting this sort of stuff and you find. That you've been told that something is happening, it's affecting people. It's you know, it's an emotional roller coaster, really. So, what do you guys think? I don't know whether the Facebook book call was a technical glitch. I normally would have said it was. There were some responses that that I did take out because they were literally not making any sense at all, and some of them I could even recognise as radio. The, 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 there was some sort of detective show or something in there. So they are the responses that kind of made a bit of sense. There was a, a reference to Aeon. Now Aeon, as far as I know, is a cryptocurrency, um, or it's something to do with hacking. So it could be something to, to look out for there. Uh, I'm not sure. So thank you for joining us, guys. Uh, we'll see you soon with a, another update, another video. Uh, you've been watching Paranormal Now. I'm Jared Walters. Thank you very much for subscribing, and take care.